The man just left us a while ago saying I'm going to race It's not a race something in my youth We don't have a load of race something in our dark I'm going to tell you in our dark It's not a race something more like, It will take more life in my youth Bumbo Claude just, The man just left beside me a while ago He said I'm going to race I'm going to say I'm coming and I'm last you know I'm last my friend because I don't know Oh, Watch out, dog. dog. Too much racing, dog. And the man in our way in a helmet, I know, dog. Watch out, dog. The man, hand gun, my youth. John, you know, dog. Helmet, dog. Helmet is central, you fuck. No lie. Chacha, dog. Pshhh, pop, pee, pop, pee, pop, pee, pop. Que pasa, suck, pasé, what they do. Welcome to Crime Time News, where the difference is in the med scarlet news with a buzz. The audio that you heard is from an incident that took place on Mandela Highway. The person that they are talking about is called Bite Back. Don't know his government issued name. This is his picture right here on the screen. You hear the man I tell you say the man just left round me you know, and say I'm going to race. I was going to watch too but I got lost. Maybe that person would have also got lost from the land of the living to the land of non-existence. He miss it. However, he got news that bike back that went on some sorts of race, he lost control. And most importantly, he lost his life. Now people, Jamaica have a very bad habit. The habit is called ideas. The habit is called selfishness. The habit is called recklessness, lawlessness. Because the truth and the fact is that whenever these people, because of their own selfish gratification or joy or hobby, Decide that they are going to go on the road and race. When them lose control, for them bike can run in a somebody that is going about their lawful, decent life. So therefore, they are jeopardizing the lives of other persons. So therefore, when we hear so them lose them life, I don't think that I can throw any sorts of sympathy party for them. However, the people that I am sorry for is their parents, their loved ones, and their friends. Loved ones, parents, and friends, try to tell your people, do not practice this bad habit. It is called accident for a reason. That means uh, it happens unfortunately when you least expect it. However, the difference between an accident and an act of recklessness, carelessness, that leads to D-E-A-T-H is vast. Meaning that it could have easily been avoided had you decided to just follow the rules and law. Ride your bike. You are not racing on some sort of speed track. You are racing on public thoroughfare, public road. So therefore, not only are you endangering the lives of others, you are endangering the life of yourself. Now I understand that you could not see the video because of YouTube's policy. I am going to explain exactly what happened. There are about three to four videos, or three videos and two pictures, and one picture, sorry. In a one of the picture, in one of the videos, sorry, there was a hand that belonged to him, like I showed you. He had he has all sorts of tattoo. That hand was gone from the body. Not to say he would ever need that hand because in the next video, 
it was a video of his brain kind of jumping or just pulsing on the ground. I guess it just happened, so therefore it was the last, last twitch movement of the brain. And then the next one, it was him laying on his black back, all sorts of B L O O D splatter all over the place. His head, you know, when you go in one of those Halloween stores and you buy a mask and you take it off and you lay it down and it just flat out, there was nothing in the head, meaning the skull gone, the bone, and also the brain. Everything splash out. People, it is sad what these youths do. However, like them say, or like I've always said, a hard ears make for a soft ASS. Who can hear them I go feel sadly. And I don't know if you guys have realized, but over the past week or so, there's been back-to-back -back accident, bike accident, in which a whole heap of people are losing them life, multiple people. Even a place called Petersfield, two students from Petersfield High School, I think one is 14 and one is 16, was riding their bike and, you know, riding recklessly and lick up in a some sorts of vehicle and pretty much the impact the vehicle and the bike burn up needless to say the two youths lost their life laid out flat upon the street the school in which they attend petersfield high school the principal said listen me tell these people stop ride the bike macaulay and the mother now people i want you to listen to what the mother has to say about her son when she was asked you never know same i ride the bike she says she tell him, don't ride the bike, go to school. When they ask her, where did he get the bike? She was in denial, I guess. She did not want to give up the person who gave him the bike. Or maybe she just did not know. These little pit of them hard ears. Listen to what the mother has to say. And then a neighbor has to say about these youths on the bike. And how they warned them. And they did not listen. I feel bad and I miss him. I love me and I love him. He helped me do everything. He helpful. It's a helpful look of it, eh? helpful look of boy. I couldn't believe it. With that trimble I leave. That trimble I leave, I can't believe. I didn't talk to somebody. No, I don't know. I don't know about the bike. I don't know about the bike. I don't know who bike. If I was in my ride to pass school, I said, don't ride the bike to school. Take the school bus to school. We talk to him. We talk to him over and over. I said, here. I said, somebody tell me. And he tell me, he said, no, no, son. I ride no bike to school. See my bike, eh? I'm going to go and say, 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 Now people, you hear what the mother say, go to the oats, she ask him about the bike, him lie, the school warn him, the mother warn him, neighbor warn him, but him never listen. You hear the neighbor tell you, these youths are reckless on these bikes on the street. When you hear them or see them, you have to just take for yourself. And the thing is, they are not wearing any sorts of helmets. The only safety gear, well, maybe that man would have still lost his life, bike back on the two youth them, based upon the impact, based on the speed. It is almost impossible to live after stuff like those but people the moral of the story is the same if you just listen if you just take heed if you just respect law if you just respect other people more than likely you'll be okay however neither or none of these people had any sorts of respect for rules law or the road and you saw exactly what transpired point blank and period Further on in the news, there's a saying that goes something like this. Bad luck, worse than Obia. And it seems as if that security guard company known as Beryllium is either them salt, either them not follow the rules, or either somebody put some sorts of jinx, some sorts of voodoo, some sorts of goes up on them. I got a notification the other day and it is said that Security guard accidentally S H O T three people. I mean, I said to myself, then hold on a minute. How is it that a security guard 
can accidentally tree, shoot three people. Then come to realize it is said that these people were at some sorts of ATM at I think NCB Bank in a Portmore. When it seems as if him have the pumpy pan cock not on his COCK, may I talk about in case somebody pull up and alert. And apparently it fell and went off. Now people may not know anything about any sorts of all type of gun, but don't those guns have any sorts of safety device on them? Or maybe because how things are going right now, them no bother want to take it off as safety just in case something pop off. However, it pop off, it fell, and it went off and it hit three persons. I heard that one of those persons is a poor poor officer can't validate or can't verify. Based on the information that I am getting, it is said that it is this said man that was involved in a some sort of incident with beryllium in a harbor view or one of them places. So people are wonder, people are ponder. It seems as if this man has exhausted his useful time because people I understand that accidents happen. However, they are safety devices or safety thing that you can take to avoid such occurrences. But then again, when you're bummy, when you're jumpy, when it seems as if you eat too much breadfruit, just about anything can go off. So people, I am going to let you listen to an audio from one of the videos of one of those persons that got conned up. Hero, Shia Allah, Shia Baal. Call my brother, call my daughter, call my son, call whomever. Because she did not know what was going to happen. However, I think that she probably just got SHOT in at the foot or someplace that is not life threatening. Don't quote me on it. Take a listen, take a look to the audio of this video, and then I'll give my piece. <laughs> Now people, the audio from that video that you're hearing or the edited version Obviously, this officer, this security guard, him kind of jumpy. And people, rightfully so, because if you accidentally make three innocent people get caught up, you're going to be wondering, may I go lose my job? May I go get some sorts of lawsuits? My boss is going to be P-I-S-S-E-D off. These victims are going to be P-I-S-S-E-D off. And people, ironically, when he was trying to tie some sorts of rag or some sorts of kerchief around one of those purses leg, his 38 fell out again. Now people, like me say, unusual circumstances, maybe when this incident occurred, him pretty much flip, him lose all of his senses. And I can understand, but me just I say, don't start no ish, won't be no ish. Had there been safety protocols on this gun and I don't know anything about any sorts of all time pumpy, maybe there would not be the domino effect. So therefore the next tool would not drop out. But like me say, the man was obviously nervous, the man was obviously bummy. Point blank and period. So anyways people, thanks once again for checking out my video. If you appreciate videos like this, please show your appreciation by liking commenting, sharing and subscribing to my channel. That is how YouTube promotes videos like these to like-minded, sensible persons like yourself. Bless up.